Today, we've made our way just to the west of the great city of Istanbul. We find ourselves at the Atatürk Olympiad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Barcelona. Well, Barca looked a really good side in that first leg, and if they play with the same fluency today, there can only be one outcome, and that's another win. And behind it's gone for a corner. Well, not cleared away completely. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-André Ter Stegen starts in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Franck Yannick Kessier in the centre of midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. Oh, did so well to deny him. Who can he pick out? Well, when they go in, it looks spectacular. When they don't go in, you know the rest. Yeah, it's a difficult bit of skill, and on this occasion, he got it all wrong. Doesn't want to lose his cool here. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Oh, it's cheeky! And excellent goalkeeping. Well, it is good goalkeeping, but the finish wasn't really good enough, was it? And he saw the situation developing. Mbappe might be a chance here oh no couldn't beat the goalkeeper corner given to PSG and a relatively high degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper out of play PSG throw in forthcoming possession changing hands And whipped into the box. It comes to absolutely nothing. Not a good pass. And Barcelona showing good wit here. It's got to be a goal on the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Nicely blocked by Ramos. And unable to keep the ball. And we will have just one additional minute. Hugo Ekitike. And there it is. The... And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Went in strongly to win the ball. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Hugo Ekitike. How can he take them on and beat them? 
Usman Dembele prepared to fire. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Mbappe. What a bad pass it was. Tremendous ball played through. Can he finish? A goal it is, and a typical Robert Lewandowski finish. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And Lewandowski does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. It's a great finish. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. Out of play then. Barcelona throw coming up. Lewandowski. Great opportunity. There it is. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. 15 minutes left for play. Regained possession. A real opening now. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. And he clears the danger. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Fabian. An effective challenge. Kunde. Just the challenge that was required. And he might be through here. Oh, that's a fine save. Substitution it is for PSG. And now the delivery. Well, nothing comes of it. There goes the final whistle. Let the celebrations begin. They are through to the Champions League final. Well, those celebrations will be going on for a long time now because they know just how good they've been over the two legs. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final if they play like that. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. so well to deny him who can he pick out well when they go in it looks spectacular